What's up, people? I'm back. And I just went back. I went to Arby's. I wanted to try their new fish strip things. So, we're going to see how these are. They come in a freaking box. I don't know why it comes in a box, but whatever. And I got curly fries. So, I just got a small one to taste it. It's not anything uh, super good. Um, it comes with the tartar sauce. Let's see how I can do that. I don't fucking know. They're little. They're kind of. I was expecting a little bit bigger, but you know, I love the curly fries. And the fries are a little soggy. Because the fish kind of like steamed them on my way home. So that's unfortunate. I thought they put them, put the fish in like, like the fry containers and stuff. But yeah, now the fries are all soggy. They're still good, but they're soggy. Well, let's go ahead and get into the fish. Because that's the whole reason I went to Arby's. Yes, I went 40 minutes out of my way to go to Arby's and get this. The tartar sauce does not smell good. Uh, yeah, it doesn't smell like tartar sauce to me, but whatever. That was for you, BC. So we'll get in there. I should have tried it without the tartar sauce first. Yeah, the, the tartar sauce definitely leaves something to be desired because it's not all that good. I could have just made homemade tartar sauce. It would have been probably a lot better. Then my fish would have been cold probably. Whatever. All right, one without the tartar sauce. It's definitely the breading. You can tell it's, uh, it's a little different than most breadings that you see at restaurants. Good. I probably maybe I should have done a car review. It would have been better. But I'm telling you, it's it's 92 degrees outside. It's hot. Even if you park in the sun and run your air conditioner, it's still freaking hot. But it's not. They're not bad. The packaging on the you know I think could be addressed a little bit better. And it's supposed to be Alaskan pollock. I mean, I've, I've made fish, fish and chips out of many things. <clears throat> pollock, cod, haddock, Either one of those would be good with this. I am surprised that they, they use pollock, but you know, that's fine. They're good. Mm. And I love their curly fries. It's a shame these are uh, soggy.
doesn't even fit in the in the shot. Mm. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I'm gonna get another bite because they are pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I mean they're not bad. I suggest if you go down, if you get the Arby's new fish fingers or sticks or whatever they're calling them, eat it there. Because I mean this container, it's got holes all over it. Well, I guess poor. It's not really all over it, but it's got holes in it to let some of the steam out, but it doesn't let out enough. It, it steams your fries. Uh, your fries will not be crispy anymore. But for a light midday snack, I think this is a good, good deal. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you've had the Arby's fish stick bites, whatever they're called, I, I, whatever. Have a great day. I will see you later.